For today's video, I'm doing a full face first in impressions and it's just new recent makeup. Some of it is just like I got recently. It's not like like first impression. Okay, it's mostly all first impressions except for some things that I've like that used it's not all first once. Impressions. It's close enough. Okay, literally I've waited so long to use these products and I've wanted to use these products. You literally used them before filming the intro. Not all of them. Actually, most of them I haven't. Okay. Just like, come <laughs> like, like one things. or two. So, yeah. yeah. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's, Let's get straight into it. Okay. Let's find the primer. Oh my gosh. For my primer, I'm using the Smashbox Primerizer. So, I've heard a lot of people talk about this and they really like it. Ooh. It's liquidy. It's liquid. <laughs> um, I did not expect that. I thought it feels, it feels pretty nice. It feels like it'd be very moisturizing because it is the primerizer, so it's a moisturizer and a primer. So I feel like this will last a long time because a little goes a long way. I'm really excited for the foundation because this is the by CoverGirl. It's the Vitalist Healthy Elixir and I really like the packaging because it's like a glass bottle. But it's like rectangular <laughs> For like blending I'm going to be using this like Scylla sponge because I Got it free in the mail, so I might as well try it out This is all that's inside So this is what it looks like Uh. This is weird. Uh. <laughs> it doesn't blend it in. Oh my god. You can't even see how bad it is. This is trash. You know what we should make a deal? You know how if we start cut um, that? We're, yep, we're cutting that because <laughs> I swear it's just gonna ooze out. It's like gel. I'm so excited to do that now. Which one? And then, oh my. I don't think I've ever used a beauty blender. Really? Yes. Well, now I have to fix all the mistakes of that other sponge. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Bare, the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. So the reason I got this was because my mom actually has it. But it feels... It feels super creamy, and I love the applicator. So this would be a, like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm really gonna like. They literally have, like, four shades of it, though. So, I'm afraid it might be too dark. Oh, I feel like this will be a good shade. I'm going back in with the Beauty Blender. So, the concealer, it's very light and like light coverage, but it feels nice. It's like really creamy and stuff. Build up a little more coverage under the eye, just cause I have a lot of dark circles. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, know I can't thing. see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for powder, I'm using the Cody Airspun, and I've definitely used this <laughs> before. It's more of a recent purchase, but I'm still gonna put it in because so technically both of my baking powders are new. Um, I have the Laura Mercier um, powder and the Cody Airspun, but I'm going to use this one for this video. I love this powder so much. It even, it smells good. What does it smell like? Baby powder. It smells so good and you can smell it on your face. So if you don't like it, get the Laura Mercier one, even though it's so expensive. Yeah, so I suggest this powder. I found it at Walmart. I didn't think that they sold it there. But I just found it, so. I'm just using my Beauty Blender, by the way. Oh, I should probably use a dry one. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques sponge. Now I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. So I'm just gonna use my Anastasia um, Brow Pomade. I've already used this before, but it's like more recent, so it's it's fine. I've dented it into. And I love it. 
you can really like shape your brow and my brows aren't that great so okay literally for this okay i literally had a free sample of the anastasia brow wiz which is the small like mini anastasia like brow pencil but then it broke it was literally so small and it broke right off it was in oh god okay oh shoot it was in this container i thought it was going to be such a great sample big sample but it snapped right off and um yeah and i have the anastasia brow definer didn't know i got that one instead of the brow whiz but it's just the thicker version of the small pencil. Okay, so for the eyes, we have a lot. We have lots of um, different things. So for these two palettes, I have used the two palettes, but um, for the Laura Lee one, I've mostly used like the top row. So I think I might want to do something down here. Or I have this really pretty Dream Straight palette by ColourPop and Kathleen Lights. And I don't know, I feel like I could play around with that some more. But then I have this Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 hour like eyeshadow pot thing. My mom didn't want it, so she gave it to me. And then I also have the ColourPop super novice shadow i did so i have two of them and i did i used both of them for um doing makeup on somebody else like some other people but i haven't used it on myself yet i'm gonna start out in the dream street palette i'm just gonna get my morphe y16 and i need to put a eye base down since i'm supposed to do full face first impressions i'm just going to use the concealer that i use normally i just use my tarte shape tape anyways so i'm getting this sonia kashuk brush i think it's like a concealer brush maybe but i always use this to carve out my brows i always just do this to cover up the little brow hairs under my brow that aren't supposed to be there because I need to thread get my eyebrows started but it's too painful so I don't want to. I need to tweeze it some more and you know catch up on that I'm just gonna do that until one day I can get like laser hair remover along them or something so I don't have to deal with it okay that's a good base now when I go into this um, I first start by using this shade Elfish. I think that's that's how it works. Wait. Unless I don't know how the palette works. Oh no. Or maybe it's Mooney. Yeah, I don't know how the palette works. How the shading thing goes. But I'm going to Put that all over to soften up the concealer and set it. Then I start by taking this shade, which is either called Magical or Stardust. I think it's called Magical. So I think the other one was called Moody. Oh, shoot. I'm okay. So that's going to be like a transition shade. I'm just starting by, like, guess focusing on the crease, but mostly just like all okay i'm just gonna try to build it. so then i'm going to go into my laura lee los angeles cat's pajamas palette i love this palette so much okay so i'm just gonna take bomb diggity i love laura lee before i continue i'm gonna wipe away the powder with this elf holiday set brush Dang, some of there's glitter all over my face. So now in the Cat's Pajamas palette, <clears throat> I think I'm going to be taking Kooky. And wait. 
I'm gonna switch to this e.l.f. brush. It was from their holiday collection thing. So I'm just focusing this on the outer V. And I'm kind of sweeping it under. I want to use one of the shades like out the other or quirky. Oh, quirky is really pretty. Okay, I think we're gonna try some of quirky and I'm going to focus that more on the outer part of my lid just because I don't want too like intense of a look, even though I know it will be. Okay, it's pretty intense. This needs some blending. Now I'm gonna sit here and blend for an hour. We're gonna add this, this supernova shadow. Okay, we need a brush. Okay, we'll just take one of the e.l.f. brushes. It's literally already dry. Like these things dry fast, so. I'm gonna do it on one eye first. So I'm just gonna blend this with my finger a little. Like these are, these can be a little hard to work with. The steel ones though. This is so much more purple than I thought. Okay, so we got a little fallout, we'll deal with that. So for like my lower lash line, I'm going back into the Dream Street palette and I'm gonna find a dark black brown to put in my lower lash line and yeah, this is the Morphe Y21. It's just good for putting it in the, the waterline. Whoa, it's so weird. You can see the eyeshadow on my eyeball. I feel like this is gonna make my eyes pop because the purple. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Okay, so for mascara, I'm using the Maybelline. The Colossal Big Shot. I've seen a lot of people use this and I've heard good reviews. So I really, really, really wanted to get the one, the new L'Oreal mascara because Tati was talking about it and she loves it already because they had the Lash Paradise, which was really good. I have it. So I really want to try that one. It was like one of the new fiber ones. But... It was all sold out at Walmart. So it's the gold packaging. Ooh, yes. Look at that. It's like Kirby. Okay. I'm ready for this. I like never get new mascara, so this is interesting for me. Oh. I really like this mascara. Oh my god. I can like see your eyes from here. They look really cool. I feel like it lifted my lashes. Probably looks weird right now. I need mascara. Oh my god, this is such a good mascara and it's from the drugstore. I highly recommend this. You should go and get this, honestly. And it matches everything. Okay, it's a little more of a green gold, but whatever. Okay, on to the face. I didn't think I'd find a favorite in this. This is mine. This is going in. Some kind of favorites thing. This is my new favorite. This is what I'm really excited for, and this is probably why I'm doing this whole thing. So I got the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in light, so I think, yeah. We'll use the one in the middle, because why not? I think it's the lightest one. So I've also never tried this out. This is a stippling brush by Real Techniques, so I hope this works. Okay, I think it might have picked up some product. We got some product down. I don't I have a feeling it's not going to be the best brush for this. I'm sure blending this with a beauty blender. I might just apply this with the beauty blender. We'll try it on the other side. We're going to cream contour my nose. I feel like that just made my nose red. I'll get some kinky. Oh, well, wait. We'll get a little of the light shade and do that down the nose and like highlight in some places so i'm just hiding highlighting with that with the middle light shade real quickly yeah so i just use that i still need to figure out the best way to apply that but i feel like a like a blender sponge or something that is better 
Or maybe next time I could try this brush. So for bronzer, I'm going to be using this one by Rimmel. I've definitely used I know I wear bronzer. We're just gonna put it all over the net. I can't reach it. Okay, I'm using the gimme brow because like I need to set my brows right. For oh gosh dang it, my battery's gonna die. We've been filming for like an hour. Anyways, so this is a blush. This is the Burpee Bur Burpees blush. It's one of their like newer products. It's in bare peach. It is super pretty. I love peach blushes. What the? I take off this and yet there's another layer? This is a rip off. They make me do all this work when I already spent money buying their product. It's gorgeous, by the way. Kathleen Lights loves this. So this is a Sonia Kashuk like blush. Blush brush. We don't need too much blush because I'm already red. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow. I'm so glad I finally found this. That is my this is the Wet n Wild um, Mega Can Glow highlighter. Stool? This and I didn't know the shade. It's so pretty. Oh my. So this is a highlighting brush from Morphe. It is Y14. Oh my god, and it looks so pretty with the blush too. This is by Patrick Star. It's so beautiful. I just got it and I've been waiting to film this because of this. It's so beautiful. So they're both in Mama Star. We have the it's okay, I didn't know this was a lip glass. Like literally I hate I hate like normal matte liquid lips because they're so lip glass. Yes, that's what they're called because it's by MAC. But anyways. Why is it not called lip glass? Uh-huh, it's a lip glass. Anyways, that's so <laughs> I don't like dry when it gets too dry because I have really, really chapped lips. Anyways, so this is great. Love lip, 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 lip glasses. Glass. Yep. Amazing. The packaging is beautiful, by the way. This is a lips, the lipstick, and they're both in Mama Star. For who? But Patrick Star. <laughs> I, thought you said, I thought you said Mama. Yeah, because that's what he named the shade after, for his mom. Right now. Oh my god, purple. Okay. So that applied really smoothly and it's already beautiful. Okay, it doesn't really go with this look that much, but that that's is really okay. purple. I like this. And that's the lipstick. It's super creamy, went on really nice. My lips are really dry, let me tell you. We're gonna use my all nighter, cause it's all night. <gasps> This makes my eyes look so green. I'm loving it. We need a final look here. So, okay. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out some of my other videos. And subscribe. And her social media will be linked down below. And so at will mine. At K underscore makeup. We'll Wait. also put mine down there because I want more followers. At K underscore makeup. Okay. No, no, it's not Marin Hannah. What's my Okay, and then we're going to do Marin's right here. Whoosh. Go check it out. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you had a great time hanging out with us today. You watch me, baby.